In this example, we'll build a frequency table for categorical data. We're given a sample of NBA players with their position, which is a categorical variable. It divides them into categories, point guards, shooting guards, small forwards, power forwards, and centers. And we're going to build a frequency table to go along with this. So the categories will be the divisions, and then we'll count the frequency in each category. So our frequency table will start with two columns, one for the position and one for the frequency. And then we'll add a third column for relative frequency. It's a good thing to include when you draw a frequency table. It's not entirely necessary every time, but it's a good idea to include it when you can. So the positions, we have point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center as our five categories. And then we just go through and count how many there are of each one. So for point guards, for instance, we have one, two, three, four of them. So the frequency is four. For shooting guards, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For small forwards, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For power forwards, we have one, two, three, four, and five. And then for centers, we have one, two, three, four, and five. And notice that if we add up those frequencies, we should get the total number that we have, which is 30. So we should get 30 if we add those up, and you can check that by adding those frequencies. For the relative frequency, we need to divide each frequency by the total number that we have in our sample, which is, again, 30. So for the relative frequency of point guards, we would divide 4 by 30, which we could write as a fraction, or if we wanted to, we could write that as a decimal, which comes out to about 0.133, or 13.3%. Then for the next one, we would divide 9 by 30, which works out to 30%. 7 out of 30 is 23.3 percent, and then 5 out of 30 is about 16.7 percent, and that's for both of the last two categories. So again, a frequency table is pretty easy to construct. All you have to do is count how many fall into each category, and in this case the categories were the positions of the players.